Hi, I'm Brennan from Edwards Vacuum, and I'm here in our Global Technology Centre in the UK. I'd like to show you an experiment demonstrating the role of Newton's third law in lift and air resistance using a vacuum pump, a bell jar, and a quadcopter. For a quadcopter to stay flying stationary, the propellers rotate, forcing air downwards, and the air molecules, as dictated by Newton's third law, exert an equal and opposite force upwards on the propellers, enabling it to fly. So let's place the quadcopter inside the bell jar. And I'll just give you a demonstration that the quadcopter does in fact fly in the bell jar when there is air inside. So if I close the valve and isolate the environment, and then open this valve, allowing our pump to remove the air from the environment. The pressure has dropped significantly as a vacuum is created. So as you can see, although the throttle is on full, the quadcopter can no longer generate any lift due to the lack of air molecules and therefore it can't fly. So now I'll close this valve to prevent the vacuum pump from drawing any more air out. And I'll open this valve gently to start allowing air back into the bell jar. As the pressure increases back to atmospheric pressure, the quadcopter can again generate normal amounts of lift and fly as usual. So that was our experiment demonstrating the role of Newton's third law in lift and also air resistance using an Edwards NXDS-10 dry scroll pump, a bell jar, Edwards speedy valves and a gauge, a quadcopter and of course my expert flying skills. If you try and replicate these experiments please ensure there's an adult supervising and you're careful. Thank you for watching.